Hi there, we are the Jack J. Hutchison Band, and you are watching Rockosaurus TV. Well, welcome to another face-to-face -face interview with Rockosaurus. Today, I'm very pleased to welcome to the O2 Academy Islington, the Jack J. Hutchinson Band. Hello, Nick. How are you doing? Not so bad. Not so bad. Good to see you. Good to see you. Different line-up from the last time I um, interviewed you. Um, I'm still here. You're still here. Well, yeah. yeah, your name's over the door. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm well, hoping I eventually not. to just pass it on to someone else. That's a thought. Yeah. Me? <laughs> you're <laughs> my heart. <laughs> no, you'd never part with that hat. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> So, a bit, of a bit of a busy time for you, hasn't it, lately? Yeah, so, yeah, recording the album's been mm -hmm. a really uh, positive experience with Josiah Manning co-writing that record, and we've just been prepping for the tour this week, which has been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, sort of transferring those songs from, you know, the studio production into a live setting, which is just really exciting. Yeah, well, it did sound in soundcheck like you were writing them as you were going, but, I mean, I, I wasn't going to go there. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what you've got to do is take them and then take them into a different direction yeah. when you go live so yeah of course yeah yeah, yeah. No, i was taking a piss honest <laughs> <laughs> um no so uh, charlie how are you doing with the uh, with this um, particular mob i'm all right yeah. yeah it's good it's fast yeah it is isn't it yeah yeah it's good and heavy Abs absolutely that's yeah i've got heavier strings on a heavier bass that's that's what you need for heavy music Definitely, definitely. No, I mean, it, it, well, I saw you, of course, at um, Half Moon Putney. Uh, that was a great kick. That was a lovely kick. Yeah, it's, a, it's quite an intimate atmosphere at the Half Moon. And it I is. think um, I played there for quite a few years in different bands and things. And probably the first time I met Phil was there a few years back yeah. doing a, a charity gig with the Boom Band. Hmm. And um, that was a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's great to go down there and, you know, chill out and sit in a nice pub and then go and play a rock show. Absolutely. Yeah, no, that was, a, that was great fun. And Phil, you've, um, yes, you've, you've been around the block a bit, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One word answers. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, you've got a bit of, bit of a pedigree, though, haven't you? I mean, who have you played with? Just to give us a quick rundown. Uh, I've played with a lot of people. They're all high in me. That's kind of the thing, really. Um, but yeah, no, I've been around a while. And a yeah, yeah. Well, I've seen you at a few, so, you know, <laughs> from a distance. Yeah, I like to play with a lot of people. It's been fun. But I'm having a great time at the moment. Yeah. Well, so am I. I mean, I was um, one of the fortunate few to have a test pressing. So um, I've obviously been listening to that you for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly did, but <laughs> I think with the test pressings, there's always like this nerve wracking moment when you put it on and you check that's what you're doing, you're checking to mm. make sure that it's actually going to be pressed correctly. And so I always just sit there right in front of my vinyl player listening to every beat hoping that it's okay yeah. but it, it sounded great on vinyl it does yeah, yeah. i mean it's massive yeah. yeah it's it's good and heavy good and loud yeah um yeah i had to wait till the missus went out actually before i could put it on but uh, <laughs> <laughs> she said, what's all that rubbish no she doesn't say that about you. not about your stuff <laughs> Well, we did a, a different sort of mix for the vinyl this time as well. So there was, a, there was definitely a conscious decision to make it sound as good as possible. Yeah. Whereas my previous records, you kind of mix it and then send it off and get pressed quite quickly. Whereas I think you can hear with this one that it, it's pretty beefy and yeah. sounds good. Yeah. No, there's a great deal of depth to it. And it's... Um I always prefer to sound, hear stuff on vinyl anyway, but, uh, you know. I just like to watch it spin round. So when I'm, you know, I'm listening, I just, my head's going like that. I yeah, just like so the experience. Yeah, funny enough, yeah. <laughs> You're not related. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, no, it's, um, I, I haven't got me, um, my proper copy yet, actually. I'm still waiting for that, but post is a bit slow. I've got to buy another one. Special <laughs> album launch price, 56 quid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. if you give the merch guy a funny look, 70. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he would. Yeah, yeah. Empty my pockets, you mean. Yeah, yeah that's Johnny. <laughs> so, um, yeah, where's, this, uh, where's the tour taking you? So, obviously, we're here at the O2 Islington tonight, and then tomorrow we're heading to Blackpool, and um, we're playing a festival called Love Live. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to uh, Bedford Esquires on Saturday. Then we are, we're in Leicestershire, we're going to Leicester to play The Musician. Then we're in Winchester at the Railway, and then we're going to a whole bunch of other festivals and places right up until May. So, lots of shows coming up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hopefully, the, uh, the voice will stand it. 
Well, that's why I uh, have a really careful regime of uh, not smoking and not drinking like I did for years. Yeah. It's quite, yeah. quite easy to take that regime up. Well, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> but I don't sound like Tom Waits anymore. So No, that's you know. true. Yeah. No, it's funny, actually, your voice has actually changed since. Well, it's because after the first album, my balls dropped. Um, oh, is that what it is? So, yeah. yeah well, actually, we noticed at the Half Moon Putley that one of them fell out. But, yeah, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Well, that, ended up, that was like uh, the, bo- the blues rock paparazzi got me that night, didn't yeah. they? It was plastered <laughs> all did. over the blues star. <laughs> Yeah, we thought, never mind the bloody music. Look at Jack, his front has well, fallen I th- out. I think having the title saying, what a cock, um, yeah. is a bit overboard, <laughs> but you know. Yeah, but that's not going to happen tonight. Is Times it? have been hard after COVID, man. You've got to do anything you can to get people through the door. Well, this is true. Yeah. So um, I don't mind. <laughs> if you got it, flaunt it. Yeah, Yeah. well, I haven't, so uh, I don't know why I'm flaunting it, but yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Look, best of luck for tonight. I'm sure it's going to be an absolute blast. Cheers, man. Um, and just to say, this isn't like Jules Holland. We haven't filmed this like well in advance of the uh, of the album launch. This is actually happening about yeah. an hour before we hit the stage. Exactly. So yeah. exactly. So yeah. it's all it's, it's hot off the presses. Isn't yeah, it, it's say. it's real. We're keeping it real, Nick. Oh, definitely. We've got to keep it real, mate. Yeah. <laughs> at the O2 Academy is the, look at that. Yeah. Thanks ever so much for taking time out to have a chat and um, break a leg and all that stuff. And looking forward to tonight. Cheers, Nick. Thank you. Cheers.